Do you love African print but just have a hard time figuring out which print suits your body type? Well, I am here to help you. I give you my heart. Welcome back to another edition of Journey of an African Lady where we discuss everything fashion, business, and lifestyle. If you haven't yet or if you're new to my channel, welcome and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Also, um, you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment at the end of the video if you liked what you heard or you thought something was interesting. And also please don't forget to click on that bell so that you can be the first to be notified when I do drop a new video. I also uh, send shout outs to the first people to like my video. So get clicking and be sure to hear your name in my next video. Well, having said that, let's get right into it and figure out how to dress our bodies and look awesome wearing African prints. <laughs> No matter what kind of body you have, African prints are just so amazing and perfect because they flatter every body type and they're very bold and colorful. And with the season now, spring and summer following shortly after, you'll need that kind of, you know, lovely, lively um, feel to your wardrobe. And African prints just do an amazing job at that. Um, and a lot of ladies are confused, you know, how do I dress according to my body type, especially if you are aware like which body shape you fall into. It can be quite intimidating. Um, and that is why I have come up with a couple of body uh, shapes that we will be dressing up today. Um, just to kind of give you guys a feel of how to go about the next time you're shopping for your African clothes. And as an African lady who loves African prints, I am so excited to share this video with you guys. So let's get into our first body shape. Our first body shape is um, the apple body shape, also known as the oval body shape. Um, and why it's called this is because this basically means that your upper section, meaning your bust area, is bigger than the rest of your body. So your shoulders tend to be round, your hips tend to be smaller, you have a fuller midsection. Um, and so when it comes to styling this up, a lot of um, ladies have this body shape and the good thing is a lot of the African um, clothes look very nice on this body shape a lot of clothes really flatter this body shape um, especially if you know how to to dress for it right um, and so when it comes to this body shape it's what really flatters it is a-line skirts do a great job a-line skirts a-line dresses they really do a great job and especially if they're just below the knee um, because most people with this body shape also have great legs just so you know like lower legs on point and so you want to show those off and a-line skirts that are just above the knee do an amazing amazing job at doing that um also another thing to wear would be high-waisted um shorts and pants which are my absolute favorite i love anything high waisted i just love it. <laughs> and um there are a couple of really nice african stores that do have amazing high waist stuff um that are very colorful very bold vibrant it's just perfect for this um spring and summer weather that's um, about to follow um and i will list them in down below so that y'all can check them out i will put a link there um and yeah they they, they honestly just look amazing um also bearing in mind that we talked that um it has you have a fuller midsection it would be a great idea to also include a belt um when you're wearing your flowy african dress because african flowy african dresses also look amazing with this um, body shape include probably like a belt or something to kind of define the waist area um bearing in mind that it's like fuller and more like undefined so a belt really you know helps to flatter your waist area okay now the second um body shape is as we know the pear body shape i personally have a pear body shape and i love my pear body shape um now so for you ladies who do you know that it's also called the triangle body shape because it's just like a triangle so basically your upper um but like your bust section is like really um it's like way smaller than your lower 
um, section of like your body so your hips are bigger but your your bust is smaller um, and so I used to wear a v-necks for like the longest time because I love v-necks um, but that does not flatter it at all unfortunately it's kind of sad um, but what does flatter um, this body shape is scoops or boat necks so anything that is like a dress that has a scoop or a boat neck or a top that has a um, scoop neck or a boat neck will look amazing 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 um i personally love boat necks just because to me they scream african beauty and they're just so elegant and it's just like so effortless um you don't really have to do much with a boat neck really they kind of speak for themselves and that's why i personally prefer boat necks but i know some ladies who like scoops and you know whatever works for everyone right and another a body shape is our hourglass you know a lot of ladies want to have an hourglass body shape having an hourglass body shape basically means that your body is proportional so like your upper body and your lower body are all proportional and you have a very defined waist um so your midsection is good your lower section is good and your waist is good honestly like that's goals <laughs> um and so what really works for this body shape would be Wow, you can really dress this body shape up. African pencil skirts will look amazing. I personally love Ankara, but I think it really depends. Kitengo also looks nice. Um, just knowing what works for you because basically all African prints are colorful, right? So just knowing what level of colorfulness you want there. Um, so um, pencil skirts, pencil dresses also look amazing. Wearing belts. Belts really help to... Um, define your waist they really flatter your waist i mean you have the waist so like why not define it even more um they really flatter your waist as well as fitted jackets fitted african jackets will look amazing if you have an hourglass and our last one is the diamond body shape so you have fuller legs i think that's most people confuse the, the diamond body shape with the oval apple one but the difference because they both have like a fuller midsection but like the difference really is that with a diamond body shape you have like fuller um legs which look great and again a-line skirts will look amazing with this body shape and really like bring that oomph out and show off your legs like the legs, the legs, the legs. <laughs> they will show off your legs and you will look amazing. Um, with all these prints, especially A-lines, I really, like, you really look good if you have, like, heels on just to kind of, like, make your legs look uh, longer. Heels do a great job with that. But, I mean, anything really works, you know, just if you know how to mix and match your African prints, you'll be good to go. So, as you can see, I am wearing my African um, dress. This was made for me in Kenya. Very nice. Um, it's I love it. It's it's um, long sleeve. As you can see, it has a boat neck. Kind of low key though, because I was kind of stuck between like making a boat neck and a V neck, like I told you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, boat necks perfect for pair shapes, as you can see. Um, very nice on the waist. I love it. Um, it goes away with that. Very flattering and it's it's perfect and I'm also rocking my Hakuna Matata earring and it's it's just perfect that is it for today I hope you um, enjoyed this video and found something that works for your body shape and kind of got it figured out so the next time you're doing your shopping at an African store you kind of have an idea of what you want um i will list the african stores down that you can check out and they really have got like everyone sorted out really they do and it's it's amazing prints um very vibrant very awesome and very authentic you know not everyone does african um prints and you know it's nice to stand out once in a while <laughs> so if you haven't yet um subscribed please go ahead and do so i will really appreciate it and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video i'm looking so for it so until next time take care guys
the five people who were the first to like and leave a comment on my previous video and those are Carl, uh, Elinwani Rambuda, Seatown Girls, Wamboy Kiruka and Tamika Andreessen. Thank you so much guys i really appreciate it and if you also want to hear your name in the next video be sure to be the first to hit that like uh, button and drop a comment down in this video until next time thank you so much guys and take care